the end of an excruciatingly long journey. The Eurostar from Paris to London should take just over two hours. This one took more than 15, much of that trapped in the Channel Tunnel. We heard this bang inside the tunnel, like a pop bang sort of noise. And one of the windows got smashed in, on one of the side of the train. Lights went out and there was a lack of oxygen. There were people like trying to crash the windows open. There were people trying to open the doors, which was not allowed, but there was really no, no rule anymore. Kids were stripping off, being sick everywhere, people passing out, fighting over water, fighting so they could get out the door, which they wouldn't let you or anything. Frustrated passengers also finally arrived in Paris. Four Eurostar trains carrying more than 2,000 people were stuck, along with other freight carriers. Much of France was blanketed in snow on Friday. Eurostar says the trains failed after they left the cold air of France and entered the warmer tunnel. Surely it's been this cold before. Uh, the, the temperatures in northern France and the snowfall is the worst for at least eight years. So it is very cold. And do remember, it isn't just our services. A lot of flights have been cancelled. Eurostar says it's sorry for the incident, but many passengers think the company should have done much more during the emergency. We couldn't breathe. It was just, it was chaos. Horrible. Didn't like it because it was too hot in there. We had to get moved onto a, like a kind of a car lot kind of thing. And then we had to sleep on the concrete. No, no hot water or anything. Eurostar points out that this is the first time such a stoppage has happened during 15 years of operation. But that's cold comfort not only for those stuck on the train, but for the thousands of passengers now facing cancellation in the run-up to the busy Christmas holiday period. Eurostar will not be running any services today. It's unclear when they'll resume. Eurostar has offered compensation and promised to investigate. For now, though, a station that should be having one of its peak times stands empty. Andrew Potter, Al Jazeera.